welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angie. And in today's video, I am focused on a weekly reset, um, a monthly reset, just an overall reset and getting myself back together. Um, I just got over about a food poisoning. Guys, I don't wish that on nobody. I was so sick. And just to rewind it back in my last in my previous video i was getting ready for business travel and i planned to take you guys along show you what i'm eating what i'm doing well i got i got food poisoning mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that pretty much took me out for the count so i am back i'm feeling much better but guys definitely i feel it in my gut it, um one of the things that i want to talk about is building consistency and i've been thinking about that a lot i was actually thinking about that on my flight back because i was just so sick and you know let me let me shout out united airlines their crew took care of me on my flight back home they really did because your girl was out for the count sick trying to keep it together so i can make it back in one piece but <laughs> But, I, you know, one of the things I did was really think about um, how I'm showing up consistently um, for myself um, and pertaining to my health goals, my weight loss goals, but just overall in life. Um, and so I'm going to talk throughout the video things that I'm going to be working on or how I'm building new con new consistent goals in my life. And hopefully some of this will resonate with some of you um, because from the beginning of my channel, it's been about my weight loss journey, which by the way, is still going well, but there were some things I was doing consistently that I have stopped doing or I fall off and on. You know how it is, you get pumped up, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do this and then you fall off. <laughs> so I definitely want to talk about consistency. Um, but anyway, guys, I did not get any footage, any anything, because I just was out of it on um, that trip. But no fear, there'll be more opportunities for travel vlogs coming on my channel. So look out for that. But in the meantime, speaking of consistency, I am focused on because of this bout with food poisoning and now I'm finally able to eat real food again. I am focused on getting good quality fermented foods and probiotics into my body and truly stay consistent. So I am looking at good quality yogurt, um, kimchi, sauerkraut, uh, tempeh, um, miso. And I'm going to be focusing on the healthy bugs that I do have left feeding them. So good quality prebiotics. So I am going to take you guys with me. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a grocery haul and just kind of restock. Once again, get consistent, restock my refrigerator, restock my freezer, restock my cabinet with just whole foods. I am definitely getting consistent again with focusing on whole foods. Guys, I've been eating so much processed food. And of course, when you travel, you're gonna eat processed food, you're gonna eat out and that's a given. But I think for the next six to eight weeks, I'm concentrating on meals prepared by me, whole foods, and just really focusing on what I'm putting into my body just to heal and to nourish my gut, uh, my spleen, my liver. So all of the warming, nourishing foods. And as we transition into spring, adding more fruits um, and more, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, all of the good yummy stuff. And guys, we need to get back to the, um, farmer's market so i am going to be doing more farmer's market hauls and taking you guys with me to show you what i'm getting there but to start off with you saw that i made one thing i've stayed consistent with even when i was on travel guys i 
One thing that has definitely helped me and just centers me in the morning is my is my Yogi or whatever brand, ginger tea. Um, and sometimes I drink other teas. I definitely have been doing more um, matcha lattes. Um, love matcha, love it, love it, love it. If you get a good quality brand. But having my tea and speaking of fruit, no, it is not watermelon season. But now that I'm able to eat again, my stomach has been growling, which is always a good sign, or at least that's what I was told. <laughs> um, and um, and also, guys, keep in mind the uh, what I talk about pertains to me and my body and my health. I uh, have seen um, a physician, and we'll see my doctor as I get as I get back to healing everything 100%. But one of the things I've been craving is watermelon. And no, it's not watermelon season. You know how I feel. I love my seeded watermelon. But I did get a watermelon from Trader Joe's. Um, it, and they had a whole bunch of them out. So I was like, yes, let me get a watermelon. And so we're gonna have watermelon this morning. You know, I, I just think watermelon with all the water, all of the uh, just wonderful benefits that watermelon provides for your body. I'm like, what a great way to start my morning. So I'm gonna drink this tea first. I'll cut up the watermelon, have that, and then we're going to get out. Like we're moving today, speaking of consistency, definitely get back to getting out in the morning and moving, getting that sunlight on my eyes. Um, to help with just my overall sleep journey. So I'm gonna shut up guys, some tea, some watermelon, and then we're gonna move. We're, we got lots to do today, so let's get started. Okay guys, so here's my watermelon. Look, I found one black seed. There it is. Um, and then this is leftover that I'm gonna put in the refrigerator for tomorrow. And my tea. So here's the watermelon. It's not super sweet like it like it is in the summer, but it's nice and firm. It does have the white seeds in it, um, which I think even the other watermelons, maybe they do or they don't. I found one black seed though. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this and then we're heading out the door. Um, lots of errands to run today, grocery haul. So let's just stay tuned and see what I get into today. All right. Okay, I just came in. Yeah, I haven't taken my stuff off, but I ran to my local market to get some tempeh. And guys, ever since I've been sick, I've been doing tempeh toast every single day. It feels so great on my gut. So I'm gonna, the watermelon was wonderful, but of course it's it was early, it's not filling, but I wanted, I've been starting with fruit just by itself in the morning and then my savory breakfast. So I'm gonna make this and then we're gonna head right back out um, for a proper grocery haul, run some other errands today. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that this is a staple. Um, and one thing that I'm staying consistent with with healing my gut. Guys, I need a new Yeti. Cup, mug, no Yeti is my favorite. Let me see, I don't know if I like any of these tumblers, but this one's kind of nice, I don't know. Okay, I got my favorite Sockwell. 
love these I want to get some compression socks so I think I'll get these and I'm also gonna look at these tumblers oh these are the Stanley tumblers I don't think I like these I don't know I just stopped home for a quick lunch break I'm going to make a stir fry a soba rice noodle stir fry with tofu and broccoli and i'll show you guys what that looks like and then we're heading right back out again <laughs> with the cold stuff um i told you guys i'm focusing on my gut after um my food poisoning so sauerkraut and i love this brand this is a local brand to where i'm at and this is only this is only it's fermented what's the ingredients oh here they are right here sorry about that green cabbage and unrefined sea salt this is one of my favorites it is expensive but i was just like you can't put a cost on health <laughs> so got some sauerkraut got some coconut yogurt i do like harmless harvest um and it is uh lower in fat which i like and it's made from the coconut meat and it has you know the good live active culture so that some more tempeh i'm just a tempeh what a, I, I can't i can't let it go <laughs> um some organic strawberries they were actually on sale so definitely looking forward to that um these falafel sticks that i absolutely love and the ingredients are really clean on these i think i get these all the time because there's the ingredients right there they're pretty clean, except for the canola oil, but whatever. You, I, Like I said, I'm doing the best I can, but I do love these. They are really, really good. So I don't eat them all the time, but I do like them. And then my mushroom medley, absolutely love this. I have organic raspberries and my dark chocolate was on sale so i'm actually going to melt down some dark chocolate with the strawberries um as a healthy dessert for the week i have organic asparagus organic carrots all of this was on sale uh, organic apples some garbanzo beans uh cilantro which I got an avocado over back here, right there. So I'm going to make um, some, what is it? Um, guac, um, some butter beans. I don't know, I've been having just like this overwhelming uh, desire for butter beans. I feel like I eat the same beans. So I'm trying to mix up my beans and also get away from so many canned beans. Even though I rinse them really well, I'm gonna start getting uh, whole beans and cooking them or dry beans and cooking them. Y'all know I can't live without my Manuka honey. Have to get some more. Um, some rosemary. I did get a can of wild mackerel. If you're new to my channel, I love sardines. Love, love, love sardines, but I also love mackerel. This is my favorite brand. And I love that it comes in extra virgin olive oil and it's wild. So love that. But they were out of the sardines. Like it was so much stuff missing from the shelf, guys. It was crazy. 
Um, I got the Red Lentil Tolerant Pasta. Once again, if you're new to my channel, this is my favorite pasta. I will eat other pastas, but I just keep coming back to this. It's my fave. Um, hemp, hemp seeds. And these are on sale, guys. I cannot wait to make these this week. This is sprouted, a uh, sprouted green, brown, and black lentils. It's like a lentil blend. And it was a really great deal, like three bucks. Um, and actually, I did really well. Most of this stuff was on sale. So my grocery bill was pretty good. Um, these were on sale, so I had to get some fresh mango. I haven't had fresh mango in a while. They were $1 each, so I got two of them. These are a dollar each as well, so I got um, some kiwi fruit, some bananas, some two sweet potatoes that were also on sale, and the yellow potatoes that were also on sale. So this is my grocery haul, guys. So I'm going to put everything away and then come back and chat with you guys. Okay, I forgot two other items that I bought earlier today. I got some steel cut oats. This, These are my favorite from Bob's Red Mill. I'm actually going to do overnight steel cut oats, uh, or I should say, I'm gonna soak them overnight and then cook them tomorrow and then um, kind of meal prep them ahead. So I'm gonna do a big cup and then I'll um, eat on these during the week. And then I also got some farro. I absolutely love this. I usually mix it with brown rice. Um, and I don't have any brown rice, I just realized. So I need to get some brown rice. But I mix it with brown rice. And also I've been mixing it with quinoa. But mostly, I would say, the majority of time with brown rice. I absolutely love it. Has great macros. Um great fiber, great protein. So definitely love this. Same for the still cut oats. Um, and the other thing I grabbed today, guys, if you know, you know, I love this tuna. This is from Spain. It is absolutely delicious. I'm actually having this tonight for dinner. Um, and then for my dessert, I'm going to have a chia seed pudding. I made chia seed pudding last night and left it overnight. So I'll have that for dessert. Oh my goodness. It has been forever since I sat down and chatted with you guys, but I'm back. So um, I did a lot of running around today. I took you, I mean, I shared a few places I went to, but essentially I went to um, three grocery stores. I went to REI. Um, I did go uh, to a spice shop, but I didn't get a chance to get any footage there because it was pretty dark on the inside. So it was hard to film. Um, so I just wanted to check out this spot that sells different types of spices from all around the world. Um, and I saw a few things I wanted to get, some spices in particular from India and from the Middle East. So cannot wait to go back there and hopefully the next time I'm able to get some content. But um, so yeah, I've done a lot of running around today, shared a few of the meals that I've been eating. Um, but I started the video talking about consistency and I just wanted to end on that and just say, um, this is how I reset. This is me like getting back on track, going to get, you know, healthy, um, healthy-ish <laughs> um, whole foods, uh, things that I plan to cook and prepare for myself this week, meal prep. Um, I will be bringing another meal prep video. And guys, I've been so inspired by recipes that I'm seeing all over like Instagram, Instagram in particular. I'm not really a TikTok girly. I more, I mean, I was on TikTok, but I love Instagram more. But just checking out, just I got inspired by some recipes that I wanna try. Um, 
in terms of putting meals together. So I definitely want to do like a three or four day meal prep just to show you guys the types of food that I'm eating as I'm just like, yes, it's time to get consistent. Um, I am about to um, have dinner and then my dessert and for me to be the to set the example that I want to see for myself in terms of my sleep habits and being consistent every night you know I, I got a chance to talk with a sleep expert I don't know if you guys ever gotten a chance to do a sleep study. My doctor actually recommended that I do one, but I got a chance. I was uh, chatting with um, a researcher who focuses on sleep. And one of the things that she said is it takes four to six weeks. If you stay consistent with falling asleep at the same time every night, like train your brain, because she was like, it's more than just training your body. Is training your brain. Um, if you do it every single night, even if you don't fall asleep, but if you're in bed, the lights are out, your room is cool, you're doing all those, you know, things that you need to do, it will happen. And then eventually your body will get into a rhythm. Um, but also with that is I definitely every morning, every morning, no matter what, get some sort of sunlight. Even if it's cloudy outside, just get some sort of direct light from above shining onto my eyes to help reset my circadian rhythm. So yeah, I'm focused on um, just overall health and in terms of weight loss, I am definitely, definitely focused now more than ever to get into back into the gym. I know I've said that before, but it's coming guys. And I'm going to take you along with me um, just so I can just maybe take a couple of, my goal is just to take a couple of two to three times a week, do some strength training um, classes. I think that's the biggest thing that's missing for me is start adding those weights and weight training into my routine so that's it guys it's i am building my own consistency um plan and i invite you if you're if you're in if you have not been consistent with something around your health and wellness comment below and let me know what it is and then let me know how you're building your plan and getting back on track because it happens to all of us. Um, but now it's like, I want more of a consistent, uh, just a consistent lifestyle flow moving forward, if that makes sense. So <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video.